Hello everyone, this is Khaled and welcome to another Xbox uh, update video. So um, on this video today we have a big, very big news uh, that have been dropped. Uh, now we have uh, a code execution via LUA in AirOS and GameOS. So the Xbox research team, uh, Xbox One research team had dropped this thing uh, on July 9th and uh, this comes after uh, they have uh, already showed something called uh, Drango Dumplings and how they can achieve um, like basically game dumping uh, of the disk drives or like the games inside uh, the Xbox um, Series X or Series S or even Xbox One and they went through, I made a video about that and one of the games that they have mentioned or like they didn't mention it exactly but it was um, Warhammer Vermintide 2, the Ultimate Edition uh, so basically it's uh, something to use the, uh, this game uh, like using something called LUA uh, saves and save, uh, save format and from there they managed to uh, establish like some some sort of uh, socket uh, like opening a socket using a game save file, data file and then you can they can uh, achieve uh, games dumping uh, so yeah today they released uh, the, the code itself which is containing of uh, stage one uh, dot lua and stage two of lua and it's mentioned down here that uh, this to be used uh, with titles uh, that support uh, F ffi in their lua engine uh, for example the warhammer vermintide and warhammer vermintide 2 and uh, it's requesting or like there is a, a tool requested which is uh, expo uh, xbox uh, uh, xpl container reader so this tool is uh, just uh, in a .NET 8.1 so what you need to do is just to download this tool and this tool do two th one of two things uh, either extract files from the container into output directory or update the files inside the container from the input directory and I believe uh, what we need from here is uh, just the update because we need to inject uh, the stage uh, one data inside the files so basically here is how to a uh, quick how to they mentioned here by editing the stage 1.lua with your pc ip port uh, then inject the edited stage 1 lua contents uh, into a save game of your choice which is an our um, like in our uh, case is uh, warhammer vermintide 2 i have mentioned before that i got my hands on the game i got it from walmart for around 15 canadian dollars uh, so yeah, I was ready uh, from day one to uh, use it. Um, so yeah, injecting the edited uh, stage one in inside the content into a uh, save game of your choice. And this is bring here the question on how we can obtain the save game file itself. So we need to have the save game uh, file so we can do the injection process. And maybe this is what will be achieved after we get the access uh, by uh, Emma, which is Carol Cake, the developer behind uh, the Xbox exploit which early, which she had already achieved a read write uh, inside the directory so I believe we can somehow obtain this information or somehow obtain this save game file because I, c I couldn't find anything on Xbox that we can uh, move this file somehow from the Xbox so we can uh, do the injection here um, go, like let's proceed with the instruction after that we need to edit the stage 2.lua and serve it uh, via netcat tcb on the uh, on the configured ip port that was configured in stage one so we need this to be configured there and here is here is an example this is a catenation of stage one dot uh, this is doing a cat of stage two dot lua uh, then we can here we can see netcat uh, with the port number 8123 and then it's mentioned that we need to open another socket uh, that stage two can use so this is the other uh, port that we can or, or we can the other instance that we can utilize this thing then we can start the game have the same get have the save game that which have been modified loaded and then we can uh, profit so let's check the files itself i went ahead and downloaded so you can get the files from the code and you click here to download zip and after downloading the zip file you need to extract it and open it with uh, some sort of text editor so uh I have it here, I opened the files, I done the extraction and let's go through the, the code itself to check what's exactly going on here. So we have here uh, a edit me section, so this is a stage one and stage two 
uh, if you open the stage one it's mentioned here edit me section so here we have um, a test windows so this is setting for the test script on windows if you need to, to test it on windows and here we have the server ip so this will be the server ip address and then the port ip address so i believe this is, will be the xbox um, ip address itself so we need to change that with the ip address of the xbox itself and this is the port number that we doing that so once we've done that we need to take this files and then we can do the injection inside um, uh, the, the save file itself uh, going through the code itself we can see here down that there is um, chain load a chain load lua so we have here this is like some sort of chain loading and we have here open tcp connection which taking the ip address and the port number and establishing a connection like opening this converting that network byte and we can see here that this is initialization assigning the converted ip address to um, like some sort of variable here which is s underscore address and um, the actual like execution coming here that if it's loaded then it's checking the socket and then can uh, do the staging of uh, like chaining the the stage 2 dot lua at that point so this is like for the test test windows so it can do that then it can do this script otherwise it can load the socket and then if it's not then it can load the uh, script of lua uh, itself so let's take back uh, let's take a look on the stage 2 uh, dot lua here and we can see the same that there is an edit me section for assigning the uh, server ip the server port number so we can check it here and we can see here something new here so we can see that uh, this part is targeting the kernel x and we have a cmd execution command so it basically it's like pulling uh, the terminal commands or like the terminal inside xbox and we can see here that there is a process of pulling this command uh, i believe down there so if you can go through all that at the end so we have here a reverse uh, shell process which is uh, this is the process information startup flow and we can see here it's like trying to create a process with the MWCMD which is equivalent to CMD I believe something like that so this is basically like trying to uh, opening like uh, some, some some sort of terminal uh, connection with the, uh, the Xbox uh, yeah basically this is the this is the progress that we uh, like seen now on this um, release so hopefully that we have something uh, clear on how really you can achieve that because uh, as i mentioned we, i cannot or we cannot now achieve obtaining uh, the save game itself from the xbox maybe we can transmit back the file then we can do the injection and then we can uh, test this LOA. so yeah things are moving fast now and on the xbox scene hopefully we will get uh, some uh, live demos and like some homebrew soon enough uh, by this month or maybe by uh, the coming months but yeah uh, thanks for sticking in and please don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you didn't so. And see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.